Now, the family of the suspect in the Finsbury Park attack have described him as a troubled man, but insist he is not a racist. Darren Osborne was arrested at the scene of the attack yesterday morning. His nephew said the family are shocked and devastated by the incident. Well, let's go live to Finsbury Park and Skies, Katerina Vitozzi. Uh, Katerina, welcome to you. Uh, what's happening there today? What are you seeing? Well, it is a sunny day here in Finsbury Park and over the course of the morning we've seen people uh, come to this wall outside Finsbury Park Mosque where they've been laying flowers and writing messages of support for the victims and all those caught up uh, on uh, in, I should say, Monday morning's uh, tragic terror attack here. Uh, I was speaking to one family as they came to lay flowers and they are a local family. They've lived here for 35 years and they described uh, the area around Finsbury Park Mosque as a very multi-ethnic community and one that has traditionally always got on very well together and they wanted to come down to write messages of support of solidarity here on this wall and they said actually everything that they wanted to say has been said already. Messages such as we stand united, uh, this incident won't divide us. Uh, however, speaking to a local imam from a mosque uh, in this local area, he says that there is a sense of anxiety amongst his congregation. This was a, an attack which targeted a particular community, the Muslim community, at a time when they were celebrating Ramadan, one of their most important festivals. And there is a sense of anxiety amongst the Muslim community. Uh, with regards to uh, the ongoing police investigation, the police cordon here has been lifted and we're finding more about uh, the suspect from his family, Darren Osborne, 47 year old, father of four, and his family describing him uh, as a troubled man, but his nephew saying he was not a racist and saying that this was uh, a moment of madness, sheer madness, and the family going on to say uh, this has massively shocked us and that their hearts go out to those that have been injured in this attack. Uh, with regards to the victims who are still in hospital, we've got the latest figures that uh, the injured from that Monday morning attack have been taken to three hospitals across London. Uh, seven patients are receiving care in hospital and three of those are still in a critical condition. Some of the flowers and messages here for those victims who are still receiving care and messages of solidarity, which they are hoping in some way will go to unite uh, this community, which has been so deeply shocked by Monday morning's attack. Katerina, thanks very much.